Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I've traded two accounts this week. I've traded both my funded trading account with the five percenters as well as my small account that I originally started with $500 with Awanda. As it stands at the end of the week, I am finishing up break even on my funded account after a choppy week where I've had both winners and losing trades, I'm just quite grateful to finish break even to be honest because it's better than red and I'm going to have a break this weekend and come back at it next week and hopefully get some really nice trades. On the other hand, on my small account this week, I've actually managed to finish up 2% on that account which is quite nice. And the reason I've traded two accounts this week is because I've actually been trading two strategies, two different strategies. So in my funded account with five percenters, I've been trading my tri-trend strategy, which focuses on the larger time frames following the trend. I can maybe do a separate video talking about that in a little bit more detail, but I've been predominantly keeping just that strategy in that account. Whereas if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you'll know that I really enjoy scalping and trading the faster time frames using the five minute chart. And that's what I've been doing in my account, in my personal account with Awanda. I've been using my account to just continuing on practicing scalping the markets. And I guess that my thought with that really is perhaps I'm going to start another funded account, maybe with somebody like FTMO that have higher leverage that is more accessible for scalping trading. Because why not guys, you know, I've got a funded account with a 5% why not do two funded accounts at the same time and record it on YouTube just to add that extra pressure. I must be crazy. <laughs> anyway, let's get onto the chart and I'll break down my trades for the week. I'm going to share with you my best trade this week, which was in my personal account, which was a beautiful trade, trading price action on Euro USD. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hey guys, so I have the charts loaded up here for Euro USD. I'm going to show you the trade that I took, which is a really nice trade. I took it on Monday, the 8th of March. So I've taken the candlesticks here back to the eight o'clock opening for the London breakout session. And what I did to work this trade out, first of all, was I zoomed out just to get a really nice overview of what the market was saying that morning. And as you can see, it doesn't take a genius to see that the market is in a downtrend. So my first instinct was to go with the trend and look for an entry short. So then what I looked for was the main pivot point of market structure to try to gauge where price might pull back to for a nice pullback retest and potential entry point. So I located this nice area here because we have price action consolidating along the top of this level here and we had another rejection wick previously so we know that this is quite a reactive part of the market. And for added confluence I also used the Fibonacci so I went to the previous pullback and I just marked this down to where price had currently moved down to to load up the fib levels here now it's something that i've been relatively new using but i'm quite liking the fib tool not as a guide to take a trade but as an added confluence an added confirmation for a trade that i'm already looking to take so after joining price action with this fib tool together with the 50 moving average i can see here that this area around the 0.5 the 50 percent retracement level which matches up with market structure and the EMA is a nice spot to look for for a pullback. So once I had this initial plan laid out, I basically sat back and just waited for the market to pull back into that area. At around about 25 past eight, we had this really nice pullback forming on the five minute chart. And what I was interested in here was that we would pulled back close to this previous area of pullback on the five minute, and we were forming some really nice wick rejections here. So I was waiting for just a little bit extra time to see what would happen. On this next candlestick here with this large upper wick rejection, I then set a sell stop. So I set my sell stop to be triggered below the low of this closing candlestick here using a 10 pip stop which puts my stop nicely above the resistance of this market structure and I used a 2 to 1 profit loss ratio so I was risking 10 pips to make 20 pips. Price pushed down and activated my sell stop order. And as you can see we just had this really beautiful nice move down so it was a classically gorgeous trade because I was not in drawdown. I just got into this trade and I just sailed it down towards my take profit zone. 
I was really happy with this trade. It's a beautiful way to start the week and this made me my 2% win into my small account, which is what I am using to just really practice and get confident scalping because it's what I enjoy and I know from backtesting that it's profitable, but for some reason, my emotions seem to get in the way a little bit with this. So I'm just working with it, I'm just developing it and my goal with this really is to apply this to my funded account or to a new funded account. Speaking of my funded account, let me just show you my results from this week. So here is the MetaTrader 4 platform for my live funded account with the five percenters. And I've taken a few trades this week. Um, the first couple of trades were actually break even. I had a losing trade on Euro Swiss franc. And then I had a winning trade on Euro CAD, which was quite an emotional trade because I moved my stop, tried to trail my stop, and I ended up cutting this one short and I could have won a lot more. I'm in two minds with it. Let me show you the charts. Okay, showing you the results of this trade is pretty brutal that I got out when I did. Um, I won't explain it all in detail, but you get the gist that my entry was up here and my original take profit was actually a two to one, so it was down here. But I ended up getting out of this trade in one R, which was 0.25% profit. Now, Yes, you could say that I should have followed my plan and I should have let the trade play out. But the reason I cut this short was because that at the moment in time that I was in this trade, I was currently down on the week. I was down 0.25% and I was thinking to myself that I would rather cut the trade short and be break even on the week and not be red on the week than let it run and let it potentially stop me out or even if it won, I didn't want to risk losing to win, which obviously that's not ideal, but this is what the journey of trading is about. It's I'm not saying that I am already a great trader. I'm working towards that. And th these are the hurdles that you come across as a trader is dealing with these emotional sides. And this week has been a little bit emotional for me and I would rather end the week break even, have the weekend to relax and get into a clear state of mind for next week where at least I will be starting on an even field rather than potentially starting in the red, which was what I was conscious of when I was in this trade. So needless to say, if I'd let this trade play out, I would be up 0.25% on the week on my funded account, but I actually cut this winner too short and as a result, I'm break even on the week. But I'm still feeling good about the funded account because I have plenty of time. I've got five months left of this account to really build it up and that's partly why i decided to get out of that trade early because i was just focusing on risk management rather than thinking about what i could win i just wanted to make sure that i didn't lose because i'm already in drawdown on my overall account my account is currently sitting in minus 2.4 percent drawdown and the max drawdown is minus four percent so i'm just being overly conscious now to manage the risk on that account and any opportunity to stay out of the red i'm taking that because i think it's important to really manage the risk rather than try to win at this stage for me so march is still green i'm going to take it easy this week and Hopefully next week I'm going to find some really good A quality opportunities in the market so that I can continue the steady growth towards the green. I nearly forgot to say to you as well guys that this week I have been working with a developer working on creating a Forex chat room which I'm super excited about. Although it's not live yet, it's hopefully not that far away and I have actually created a form. I'll include a link below if you're interested in joining the chat room. It just allows you to sign up with your email so that I'll get an idea of who's interested and I can keep you posted and let you know when it's ready. I hope you guys have had a fantastic week. Let me know how you've gotten on in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.